Welcome guys, back to another video. In today's video, I will be taking a look at the Cryer Precision Airlight Chest Rig. Now, starting off, you might be saying, Airlight, what the hell is that? Basically, as the name suggests, it is a very light chest rig, designed that way, obviously, by Cryer Precision. Basically, what they wanted was a minimalistic chest rig that can carry a lot of stuff, depending on what your mission is, shall we say. So mainly it is constructed of Cryo Precision's airlight structural laminate, okay? So that gives it this kind of black finish at the back of the chest rig, okay? So it's all laser cut, basically. But saying that, it is by no means uh, flimsy. Uh, and I'll get into that in a minute. Now starting with the harness. Basically the harness is very nice. It's not an X style harness nor a H style harness. It's actually a yoke style harness apparently, which allows it to be not only fairly strong, but very comfortable to wear. Um, it's one of the nicest harness I have seen in a long time. Basically, Cry has continued the team with that laminate uh, construction and basically sewn their con Cordura onto it and which makes for not only a light but very durable harness that has 3D breathable mesh on the back of it which gives it a bit of padding on the shoulders not too much but still it is very nice it also has area for comms routing or hydro running a hydro uh, bladder shall we say the the tube of that you can route it there it also has at the back, it has a space where you're able to put some ITW buckles on it and you'll be able to clip in backpacks if you want, compatible backpacks. I know probably the AVS backpack would fit on this, which is a very nice bonus and I haven't seen many chest rig harnesses do that at all. Moving down into the center, basically this is the X, shall we say, laminate and as you can see like it's i wouldn't say it's flimsy but it's like it's very strong and i cannot see this ripping anytime soon the straps on the harness are actually elasticated which i like a lot it gives it a bit of movement like you know like if you had it set and it was the normal cordura there'll be no movement in it at least if you're flexing your body at least there's a bit of give and that is the main areas of this harness one pet peeve of mine um, that is only a small issue, um, the stitching on this harness is all over the place. If you're a small bit OCD like me, you'd like neat rows of stitching and obviously it's very hard to stitch this laminate breathable material together. But saying that the stitching is all over the place. It's not a major issue, like it's nothing bad. It's not like it's a Chinese clone or anything, but when you're paying that amount of money, I thought, at least the the stitching would be on point but you know what it's only a small pet peeve and no one will be looking at how neat the stitching is once it works perfectly moving on to the main part of the body of the chest rig okay now i have got this chest rig of a good buddy of mine john denter on the front here he has a triple blue force gear pouch and either side of it, it has C2R, I said that right, C2R single magazine pouches. That's the way he's gone running it. So up front, it has the traditional six column PALS webbing, all right? So you're able to attach essentially three M4 mags up front. But either side, it has essentially wings, okay? And each of these wings has three PALS columns each. And behind them, they have integrated uh, radio pouches. So I say you could fit in better pouches, no problem here, because I saw John fit one. Um, or if you want to add in extra magazines or whatever, you can have that. It also comes with the bungee retention to obviously keep the magazines or radios inside there. Again, at the bottom of it is more of that Cryer laminate, basically to stop your mag obviously or radio falling off the bottom of it. Again, very strong, very light. Uh, it's all laser cut, um, but you're able to web in uh, all your molly pouches onto it. Um, like just feeling this chest rig with those pouches on, it is extremely light. 
extreme light and it would be as light as my spiritual system's chest rig just on the back of the chest rig there is a lot of bar tacking going on which is a great sign obviously they identified stress points and they have made sure that they are bar tacked like all the mounting points are all bar tacked up here in the top row bar tacked down by the radio pouches bar tacked and this is like this material on the back of the chest rig would remind you of the blue force gear 10 speed material it's very nice obviously in multicam um yeah and just so you know these are not meant to be washed machine washable um if you're going washing it for whatever reason give it a cold wash a hand wash shall we say it has ITW, all the hardware is ITW, uh, Fastex uh, buckles, basically. These these buckles are very nice, I like them. They're very nice. Now, I know there is a mod that you can do uh, rich over at the Reptile House blog. Again, link in the description. Modified the straps out of this with buckles that he got externally and was able to run uh, horizontal. Uh, mag pouch underneath here. John also bought this. This is made by Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, shall we say, idea, right? Basically, that is designed to sit in here, in between the molly here, right? Designed to sit in between there. And basically, kind of, you'll be able to run your dangler off that, essentially, right? But I know uh, AXL have come out with a new adapter that you're able to hang any dangler that you want off it. Um, reading Rich's uh, write up on this, and I will leave again, I will leave that in the description below. A great write up if you want to get a more in, de in depth written uh, review of this said chest rig. Basically, Rich um, mentions the fact that you potentially could fit this on a plate carrier. So now I have the chest rig on its own. And you can just simply, because there's no webbing on the back of it, you can simply just plug these in to the swift clips. And I can attach the swift clips at the side and I'd be able to tighten these fellas down. Basically, no, saying that, it's not very secure. All right. So that's where these fellas will come in handy that you're able to Velcro it on the back to keep it in there but it can work with existing plate carriers. Obviously a bit of adjusting, that was just a quick rundown of it, but you have the ability to do so. When you open your bag to your chest rig, you'll be greeted with a user manual, all right. In here, it breaks down exactly what comes with the chest rig, okay, and operational instructions, how to obviously Put the whole thing together or shall we say very handy detailed guide mine might i add um and it even allows you for whatever reason to put notes there probably just keep tabs on how much you're after spending on the gucci gear um or if you need your wife's permission to buy it at least you can write it down there which is fantastic to be honest with you so guys that is the Cryer Precision Airlight chest rig. There's not mo much more I can talk about it um, that I haven't already. Um, obviously you've seen from overlay shots and all that, the quality, fit, finish of this chest rig is as you would expect. Pet peeve on the sewing, the stitching shall I say. Um, look, it is what it is. Um, but I've no fear that this won't last. You know what I mean? Um, they're tried and tests. And at the end of the day, majority of my audience goes out to airsoft so fair play to you if you wreck a cryo precision. But, um, let's wrap this up. That is the cryo precision airlight chest rig. I'd like to thank John, John Denter. Big shout out for you to for giving me this and waiting, having patience, because it's been weeks since I've had it. Um, so fair play John, thanks very much and guys make sure you check them out, I will leave a link in the description below. Um, thanks very much John. Also, 
Thank you, Rich, over the Reptile House blog, um, for giving me the terminology, shall we say, to use in this video. Um, had a quick run over his brilliant article. Again, link that in the description below. Um, so yeah, that's the disassembled uh, harness. So guys, that was another video. If you did like this video, please leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions at all about this chest rig, please leave them in the comment section below. As always guys, please hit that subscribe and bell notification to keep up to date with all my latest videos. Have a great day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.